The last month or two, things have taken a real downturn, it's fair to say. And yesterday, though, despite not being the best performance, it looked okay. 15, 20 minutes to go, it looked okay. Uh, I felt the, the first half an hour, we had chances. We went 1-0 up. Um, and then we let Norwich into the game. Um, but let, let's go back before that. I think that the, the decision to play Michel Vaughan in goal yeah. was an absolutely dreadful one. He's not played a, a single minute of football all last season. Mm-hmm. Hadn't played a, a, a competitive game for 18 months. What a strange, train, strange decision. Certainly under management of Jose Mourinho, who normally takes these competitions seriously. Tottenham haven't won a trophy, uh, a domestic trophy in 12 years. We haven't won the FA Cup in 29 years. Jose Mourinho was brought in to win Tottenham mm-hmm. a trophy yeah, and true. to deliver. And so, talk to me about this you... because sorry to interrupt, but this was funny enough. This was the exact conversation I've had this several times over the last, uh, well, last night this morning. Was that right? It's Gazaniga, Gazaniga and Hugo Lloris are both fit because, but Michelle Vaughan was brought in for absolute emergency. They decided not to re-sign him for a reason. They end up signing yep. him. What was it? October time. Like he hasn't been yep. anywhere until then. So yeah. absolute emergency, and it wasn't an absolute emergency last night. It's, it's a ridiculous decision. Uh, I tell you what, I was in the pub when that, that team come through. Every fan was absolutely disgusted, saying, what on earth are we doing? Um, you know, we hadn't even kicked the ball and, and the fans were, were angry already. Um, I just don't understand it. You know, three days before Christmas, Jose Mourinho standing up um, with Daniel Levy at the staff Christmas do. Daniel Levy saying, there's two things I want for Christmas, finishing the top four and the trophy. And Tottenham Hotspur Football Club, right now, we look miles away from winning a trophy. Mm. And Jose Mourinho was brought in three and a half months ago, uh, replacing Pochettino. Everyone was excited, including me, thinking, you know, we're going to get a a manager who has won many, many trophies, 25 uh, trophies in his career, you know, a born winner, blah, blah, blah. And we just look a million miles away from winning a trophy right now because the football is just so, so negative. Yeah, and just to touch on, obviously, Michelle Vaughan, to actually talk about the performance. You could, and the thing is, I, I hate talking, being an ex-goalkeeper, I know how difficult it is, certainly when you haven't played for a long mm. period of time, to be thrown into a game like that. that. <laughs> yeah, I know all about that. No, I did enjoy that bench. Um, but no, <laughs> he hasn't played for a long, long time. He's obviously not quite the keeper he was. Because, by the way, I was a massive fan of Michel Vaughan previously. Yeah. I thought he was excellent. But there was a reason that Tottenham didn't sign him until when they did. Now, in the game itself, it wasn't like that mistake he made for the goal was the only mistake he made. He had a, he had a moment very similar yeah. Early in, earlier in the game, a shot from distance that squirmed through his hands, managed to get on the second ball, but I wonder whether that was still in his head. I wonder just the fact he hasn't played for so long was still in his head. And unfortunately, that, that was costly. As, as poor as maybe Tottenham were at times in the game, that doesn't happen. They win that game 1-0. Yeah. Well, you, you're going to be rusty when you haven't played a game. You know, he didn't play a, a competitive game all of last season. He hasn't played a competitive game for 18 months. Mm. So I just don't understand the, the, the reasoning behind that decision. Yeah. And Mourinho, when he goes after domestic cups, this was Tottenham's best chance of, of going forward in a cup competition. You know, we'd already known the draw in extra time that we would have played Manchester United or Derby at home, which would have been a... You know, a good draw, a good home draw in good the FA chance, Cup. Good chance, isn't it? Good chance. And, 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 and Jose Mourinho is known for getting teams over the line. And, uh, you know, he's losing the confidence of all of the fans at the moment. And as I've said, he, he's been in charge just for three and a half months. But the way we're setting up at the moment, we're being outplayed, uh, you know, at home by a team who is bottom of the Premier League. Um, it's ridiculous. You know, we've, we've been outplayed by many teams yeah. um, at home this season under Mourinho. We've, we've only kept two clean sheets. You know, he's, he's known for, for shoring up the defence and, and having a good defence, you know, with the trophies and everything that he's won. And it doesn't seem to be um, any yeah. improvements at the moment. He seems to be moaning about the uh, the injuries to Harry Kane and Hummin Son. You know, you take a player or two out of a squad, you've still got a very, very good squad to work with. And I'm questioning what he's doing at the moment. Chris, a big question. Do you take Poch back right now, yes or no? Absolutely. I would never have let him go in the first place. I think that Pochettino's work, um, and I know people are sick of me keep saying and singing the praises of Pochettino, but when he delivered Champions League football for the past four seasons, um, you know, he didn't spend money in 518 days and he took the club to a Champions League final. When someone like him doesn't deserve more time, it's yeah. crazy. It was a crazy, crazy de- decision at the time. Yeah, well, look, 100%. All right, okay, so let's have it then.
Eric Dyer. <clears throat> Here we go. What happened, mate? What what has <laughs> happened? What was it? It's crazy. You, you I... got some kind of insight because I'm looking at this. The issue that I've got is I've seen this incident. Eric, in case you're just joining us, by the way, <laughs> Eric Dyer decided to climb into the stands and get involved in an altercation with some fans. Um, mm. I've seen it from about twenty different angles, uh, and I yeah. just can't quite work out what's happening. Have you got an insight for me? Well, um, from from what you hear and from from all the reports, um, he his brother was being abused, saying how how poor his brother was playing and has been for Tottenham. Um, and he got very, very annoyed, and he wanted to go and defend his brother in the stands. But as a professional footballer, you just cannot do things like this. You know, come on, it's you know you, c- you cannot excuse it. And you know, as a fan, you can't excuse uh, you know one of your players doing that. He's probably going to be in a lot of trouble now. Um, some fans are probably welcoming welcoming him getting a ban and not playing because. Some of the fans are, 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 you know, they're at the end of their tether with people like Eric Dyer. You know, the Tottenham talk about a rebuild, and I hope the rebuild does include him going. Well, a harsh, well, uh, uh, yeah, tough words. Well, look, obviously they've got the the, uh, the second leg in the, the Champions League. Have they got any chance of progressing? <laughs> We've got Burnley away first. <laughs> well, yeah, true, true. Um, well, you... Two, two very, very hard games. Burnley away and then Leipzig away. Um, Mourinho's even talking about... You know, talking to the board and seeing what one needs to be prioritised because we can't compete in both, even though Pochettino's been competing in all these competitions, you know, in his five years that he was there. Uh, it's crazy. I, I just think that Tottenham are a complete mess at the moment. Um, rebuild is probably an understatement. We need a lot of investment in the summer. Whether um, Mourinho's the man to, to deliver us this rebuild or it's going to be another manager, who knows? Well, yeah. talking of Mourinho, we can just hear from him now. This is him defending Eric Dyer after, of course, Eric Dyer, the Spurs midfielder, clambered into the stands, went roughly 50 rows back, and we, as we understand it anyway, was, look, I don't know, involved with some altercations with a fan who may or may not have been having a go at his brother about how bad Eric Dyer is at football. This person insulted Eric. The family was there. The young brother was not happy with, with the situation. And then Eric, I repeat did what we professionals we cannot do, but did something that probably we would do. There is that. There is a human element to it, of course. You know, you don't want to see... Well, you don't... Nobody likes being... Well, nobody likes being abused, do they? And, um, you know, and you certainly you don't want... You don't want your family there listening to it and all that, but obviously you can't behave like this. The FA, the breaking news, by the way, is that the FA are actually investigating this now. We'll have to wait and see what happens. But you know what? I mean, as you've rightly said, I think um, uh, I think fans may not be that disheartened. What do you make of the fact that Jose Mourinho is defending him, though, Chris? Do you know what? Tottenham fans want to see passion. And a couple of weeks ago, we played Chelsea away. It's a, it's a London derby. You're playing one of your rivals. You want to see passion. We didn't see any passion in that game. And in recent games, we haven't seen an awful lot of quality either. And Tottenham fans, we pay a lot of money to go and see the team home and away. We travel all over the world. Um, we sing our hearts out for the team. And all we want is that little bit back. We've got this fantastic new stadium. Um, it's very, very quiet. People were even leaving after 70 minutes. Why? A lot of people knew that the game might even go to extra time. And they're leaving at 70 minutes because they weren't entertained. Mm. So... There's a lot of things that Jose Mourinho has said, um, certainly in the in the last couple of weeks, saying about um, his team give everything. A lot of the fans aren't seeing what he's saying. So, you know, people are losing it with him. So I'm going to paint a, a, a very negative scenario here. But, all right, Spurs go out of the Champions League. They don't make Europe this season, or for next mm. season, sorry. In the summer, then, obviously, that, that, uh, that affects the recruitment policy in that you're probably then not going to be able to get the type of player that's, that you need to keep you up at the top of the league. And there's also then the worry that you might lose some of the big hitters you've got as well. I mean, what could happen to Spurs if they were to finish outside of those, well, finish outside of the Euro- European spots? Do you know what, Richard? I don't, I don't think that it's going to be much different because Tottenham do not go out and spend the big money anyway. You know, we were linked with a player like Bruno Fernandes. Jose Mourinho turned around and said, we're, we're not the type of club to go out and spend that sort of money. Why not? On the 1st of June, we were Champions League finalists. We should and, and, and should have attracted the world's best talent after um, being in a Champions League final. It put Tottenham on the map in Europe to say Tottenham are an established Champions League team. This is the team that you need to come to. You know, the fantastic facilities that we've got and the manager now that we've got. It's, it's crazy. 
Mm. Um, you know, Tottenham do need to go out and spend big, and that is what we've we, we've been lacking in the last couple of years. You know, a couple of years ago, we were very very level with Liverpool. Liverpool went out. Um, they they got all of the players that they needed with a shopping list saying you know we, we we've identified the areas where we need to improve and that's exactly what we should have done. But finishing outside of Europe, um, I think that will just be a huge huge blow to Tottenham because um, with the stadium that we've got and some of the players that we've got, you know if you were Harry Kane, if I was Harry Kane, what would you be thinking right now? You know he's getting older um, every year that goes on. You know, hasn't won a trophy at Tottenham. I feel for these players, and most importantly, I feel for the fans because we are very, very good fans of the club, and we deserve a lot better, and we deserve trophies. Do you know? What? I was just about to ask the exact question. You've touched it there. Does Harry Kane leave if you don't make Europe? I wouldn't blame any player to leave Tottenham at the moment in the in the state that we are in. The last- 